Welcome to Boco Preps TV. I'm Pat Rooney. With me today is John Young. John, thanks for uh, making his Boco Preps TV debut today. And we're here to talk a little bit about high school basketball. The holidays are behind us, conference play has begun, and now the races are fully on for those coveted playoff spots at the end of next month. And John, let's start with you. As our man in Broomfield, you've had the, uh, the privilege of watching some of the better teams in our coverage area, namely both teams from Holy Family and, of course, the undefeated Broomfield Eagles girls team. Uh, let's start with the Holy Family boys team, so the team that lost in the Final Four last year, beginning this week at 10-0. What's been your impression of the Tigers boys team and, and what's been clicking for them uh, to, to get off to just such a good start? Well, first off, they're so very well coached. Uh, Pete Baleco does a great job. He's got kids that come at him in waves. And that's, you know, that's the, you, you hear, you, when you cover them, the opposing coaches say that all the time. They just come at you in waves. And it's not just David Summers and it's not just Luke Golter or anybody else. It's all those guys that, you know, they got guys coming off the bench that can score, can score lots and lots of points and and the one key thing to all all of their success is defensively they they hold people to under 45 points a game and and you do that in any level especially in high school ball you're going to win a lot of games and and you know Pete's pointed to certain things on that team that that have failed you know but there's there's not much they struggle with their free throw shooting a little bit but the fact that they're getting to the line and they're shooting those free throws says, you know, at least they're being aggressive offensively. And, you know, the, the gauntlet that is the, the Metro League is, is going to be a test for them. They, he's, he's made no bones about the fact that they're not going to go undefeated. They, they might, they'd like to, <laughs> you know, but uh, there's, there's going to be some challenges in there with Colorado Academy and, and some, some other really good teams. So um, it'll be fun to watch them keep it up. And would a loss be good for them? Eh, maybe, but... I, I don't I don't see it happening to be honest with you. As we always know how tough that 3A Metro League is year in year out. The Tigers boys team will have a tough challenge this Friday night at perennial state champion Faith Christian. So that's a big game to look out for this weekend. Uh, John, another team that's beginning this week 10 and 0, of course, is the Broomfield girls team. They've already really dismantled one of the top teams in 5A in, in Thunder Ridge. Did the same thing that a Holy Family girls team gave the Tigers their only loss of the season so far. I saw the Broomfield girls this past Friday night against Silver Creek, one of the better teams in the Northern League. Granted, the Raptors were playing a little bit shorthanded that night, but Broomfield still went out and won by more than 40 points. Uh, what's this team have to do to maybe not get complacent during the Northern League schedule? Obviously, keep that edge that uh, I know Coach Mike Kroll wants to keep going into the postseason. I think what drives them is the fact that, you know, they didn't get it done last year. This is the the same group of girls, and. Man, they're good. Um, Kelly Kaiser's fantastic. Bree Wilbur's fun to watch. They've got great inside play. I mean, there's there's no letdown to what they're doing. Um, you know, <laughs> kids want to win, and they're and especially that team. And, and Mike will stay on them, and that's that's the key. I think is, you know, they'll find ways to get up for a game. Um, be it be it Thompson Valley or be it Longmont. There's there's always that. There's always that thing that he's going to find that that little that little drive that's going to make them come out and beat you. <laughs> yeah, certainly the Broomfield girls team, a team to look out for as the season starts heating up. Another one will be on display this Friday night. Big rivalry game against Fairview will be the Monarch Coyotes boys team. It's a team that uh, obviously is uh, you know very talented at guard spot with Ben Beauchamp and Jay McIntyre. John, again, you've gotten to see Monarch play. What's, tell us a little bit about what's making this team click so far, and obviously a big game Friday night against Fairview. Another thing is with them is, is defensively. Um, Coach Niven has, has said over and over again that maybe Ben is, is their best all-around player, and that guy, can, he's just so, so long, and he's, he's, he makes, makes it tough on, on opposing guards and opposing uh, forwards to even try and score on him. He's just he's a He's a defensive force, and, and if he finds his rhythm on the offensive end, they're, they're equally as dangerous. Of course, that'll be the beginning of a very busy weekend for the Fairview Knights, uh, taking on Monarch on Friday night, and then Saturday night at the Coors Event Center at CU. We'll have the big annual doubleheader, crosstown rivalry between the Boulder and uh, Boulder and Fairview, rather, with the girls' team kicking off first at 6.30, followed by the boys' game at 8.30. Finally, to take a look uh, at some of the other teams, uh, maybe particularly over in the St. Vrain area. 
The 4A Northern League boys, Longmont, is off to its typical fast start under Coach Jeff Kloster. We'll have a big test this week, um, first against Broomfield, and then later in the week against Erie. Erie is another, I think, intriguing team to maybe look out for as the season heats up. Uh, Coach Tim Leahy's bunch has gotten off to a 7-2 and two start. They have balanced scoring across the board. And this will be an interesting week for Erie to see exactly where they're at uh, going you know, for that Tri-Valley tri League crown. Uh, Frederick, Meade, and of course that big game shaping up to be a big non-conference tilt on Saturday as Erie hosts Longmont. I'm sure it will be an intriguing one for the area. One other note uh, to maybe look out for this weekend is and an early congratulations for sure out to Monarch girls basketball coach Gail Hook on the cusp of 400 wins. Won't quite be there by the time we hit the airwaves with this, but uh, certainly that's on the horizon, maybe sooner than later. And uh, a, a public congratulations to Coach Gail Hook and everything she's done over at Monarch. She's easily one of the best we have in the state, and it's great to have her back and among, among the high school ranks in Colorado for sure. Well, that's it for Boco Preps TV. John, hope your debut wasn't too painful for you. <laughs> we'll obviously be keeping tabs on the basketball races as they heat up down the stretch, as well as all the other sports. One note, a big swim meet over in Longmont this weekend with the all-city meet at Centennial Pool. So once again, for John Yunt, I'm Pat Rooney, and thanks again for tuning in to Boco Preps TV.